I'm at 8553 Century Circle in North Charleston's Indigo Palms. This neighborhood's a little bit more mature. Let's go inside. Oh, I just want to point out, again, you have a light pole or lantern and you have some gorgeous palms and foliage. This one also has hardy plank siding with some sh a shaker front on it for a little bit of added detail. You could probably put some chairs, one on each side, flanking the um, door, but not a lot of space. One on each side. Oh, there's also a sprinkler system. Let's head inside. In the foyer, you're greeted with hardwood floors and a spectacular stairwell that goes both off the front and in the back. To the right is your dining room with wainscoting and chair rail, also with the hardwoods. You have beautiful crown molding and a nice chandelier. Heads into your kitchen. Again, turning back to the foyer, on the left, you have like a family room or it could be an office. It does have a wide entrance, so you would need to build that wall out in order to put a door in. But again, your crown molding continues. You have a little coat closet area right here underneath your stairs, right off the foyer. Here's those back stairs coming into your carpeted living room. Again, crown molding and with a gas fireplace. It opens right into your eat-in kitchen space as, and your breakfast bar. The tile looks newer, it's really pretty. It's almost like a slate. And these are Corian countertops with a built-in sink. Beautiful cabinetry with a nice embellishment and crown molding as well as hardware. Stainless steel appliances, however, they are electric. Coming back this way, you have your garage access. This one does have a garage door opener. And there's your sprinkler system set up. Pantry. Not as large as the last one, but definitely convenient. All the way back is your laundry room. Very big space. Definitely put more shelving, make a bigger pantry back there. And this is your powder room. Tiles carried out in here. Let's head outside. This one also features a screen and porch. Not as big as the last one, but I would say it's definitely like a 10 by 11. But you do have an extra slab. It's quite large. So you could definitely grill out here, set up some additional patio furniture. This home also features gutters. It's got kind of a triangular backyard, but it actually is giving more space. And it definitely has a more mature feel with the foliage that they've added. They've done a really good job. This is your backyard or back of your home. Let's head upstairs.
I love the view from this stairwell. And also the easy access to both the upstairs as well as the back support portion of your home. I will point out there's a little wear and tear on this tread right here. Looks like a dog or maybe a cat got a hold of it. Probably more like a dog. Easy fix. You have a linen closet. Nice size closet. Here's your second secondary bedroom. This one's a little bit more of a walk-in. Could do a little bit better with some shelving or some other racks. Coming around the corner, we're into the hall bath. Nice cabinetry. Very clean, tidy, and real tile. This is the third secondary bedroom. These are facing off the back of the home. A lot more privacy. Again, a bit of a walk-in. This right goes around. And finally, your master. Your master has French doors or double doors with a tray ceiling. It's long and wide. You also have an added sitting space. Could turn it into an office as well. Reading nook, parents retreat. Not really a floor in here, but definitely, you know, some access. Again, double doors into the master ensuite with a dual sink vanity beautiful corner soaker tub you do have some cathedral ceiling in here and a large shower this is your water closet and your master closet. Now in here you also have some additional storage space, but you're gonna have to put some flooring down in there.